Alcohol prohibition in India is in force in the states of Bihar, Gujarat, and Nagaland as well as in the Union Territory of Lakshadweep. All other Indian states and Union territories permit the sale of alcohol. The Directive Principles of State Policy DPSP in the Constitution of India Article 47 state that less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 the state shall endeavor to bring about prohibition of the consumption except for medicinal purposes of intoxicating drinks and of drugs which are injurious to health though the directive principles are not justiciable rights of the people but fundamental in the governance of the country it shall be the duty of the state to apply these principles in making policy laws per article 37 for Article 38, state and union governments, as duty, shall make further detailed policies and laws for implementation considering DPSPs as fundamental policy. In contrary to Article 37, many policies have been implemented by states and union governments which go against the DPSPs such as using intoxicating drinks as source of major tax revenue instead of implementing prohibition for better health of people. When the union government feels that alcohol prohibition is no longer useful to the nation, it shall be deleted from DPSPs by bringing a constitutional amendment to remove ambiguity in policy making, direction. Judiciary can repeal any policy, law devised by the government which is diametrically opposite to any DPSP. An existing policy in line with DPSP can not be reversed, however it can be expanded further in line with DPSP. The policy changes applicable under DPSP shall not be reversible unless the applicable DPSP is deleted by constitutional amendment. Many states imposed prohibition of alcohol and later prohibition lifted to collect more revenue, taxes by the states. Lifting, relaxing prohibition of alcohol is unconstitutional which is reversing the earlier implemented policy as per Article 37 as long as alcohol prohibition is part of DPSP. National prohibition was advocated by Mahatma Gandhi, as well as by many Indian women. Prohibition, in the states of India that have implemented the policy, has led to lower rates of drinking among men, as well as a decreased incidence of violence against women. History The temperance movement in India often led to the prohibition of alcohol in various states, as with Manipur. In British India, many Indian temperance activists agitated for prohibition in the country. Mahatma Gandhi was a champion of the temperance movement and viewed foreign rule as an obstacle to national prohibition. When India gained independence in 1947, prohibition was included in the constitution of India and the government of several states such as Gujarat introduced it. Topic. Social and economic effects Prohibition, in the states of India that have implemented the policy, has led to lower rates of drinking among men, as well as a decreased incidence of violence against women. In the state of Bihar, which adopted prohibition in 2016, the number of murders and gang robberies decreased by 20% from the previous year. The amount of riots fell by 13% and traffic accidents were reduced by 10%. With respect to the economy, the amount of spending per household rose a 10% increase in milk sales, a 200% increase in cheese sales, a 30% increase in two wheeled vehicles, and a 50% increase in electrical appliances. In villages, brick houses are gradually taking the place of mud huts since state prohibition came into effect. <laughs> States practicing prohibition Bihar On 26 November 2015, Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar announced that alcohol would be banned in the state from 1 April 2016. Kumar officially declared the total ban on 5 April 2016, and said in a press conference, "...all type of liquor will be banned in the state from today." Sale and consumption of any type of alcohol in hotels, bars, clubs and any other place will be illegal from today onwards." Violating the law carries a penalty of five years to ten years imprisonment. On 30 September 2016 Bihar High Court ruled that the ban is "...illegal, impractical and unconstitutional." 
Although even before the High Court order came, the Bihar government had announced that it would enforce a new stringent law from 2 October 2016, only to stay adamant on it after the order. The government had drafted a new law to keep from withdrawing the ban. As per the new liquor law, those found indulging in unlawful import, export, transport, manufacture, possession, sale, intoxicant or liquor could attract a minimum 10 years of jail term which may extend to imprisonment for life besides a minimum fine of 1 lakh rupees which may extend to 10 lakh rupees, says a report by Press Trust of India. On 3 October 2016, the Bihar government approached Supreme Court of India challenging the High Court order. The Supreme Court bench headed by Chief Justice T. S. Thacker agreed to give an urgent hearing on the matter and on 7 October 2016, much to the relief of the government, the bench stayed the High Court order, "...ban on liquor and fundamental rights do not go together," the SC bench said. The bench has directed the hearing of the matter after 10 weeks. On 25 October 2016, the Bihar government decided to renew liquor licenses of canteens in cantonment areas, military and air force stations for 2016-2017 in the interest of soldiers. The Telegraph reported, on 21 January 2017, more than 3 crore 30 million people of Bihar joined hands to form a historic human chain along 12,760 km of roads to support ban on alcohol by Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar. This unprecedented and massive human chain was supported by people from all walks of life and political parties. The government of Bihar introduced a new version of Bihar Prohibition and Excise Act on the 2nd of October 2016, days after the Patna High Court quashed the previous bill, deeming it as illegal. The act brought in stricter measures, with all sections in the act being non-bailable and the police being allowed to assume that manufacturing of alcohol was ongoing if utensils containing a mix of jaggery or grapes are found. Under the law, only special courts constituted under Bihar Special Courts Act can try the cases. It also empowered authorities to confiscate properties upon whose premises liquor is either consumed or stored. The new policy was challenged in Patna High Court a day later. Supreme Court of India meanwhile stayed Patna High Court's order on quashing Bihar's ban on alcohol. It stayed proceedings of all challenges to Bihar's new law in the Patna High Court on 2 January 2017, stating that it will itself hear all cases related to the new ban. However, the Bihar government is going to introduce an amendment to the liquor law in the upcoming monsoon session of Bihar Assembly beginning July 20. According to the new amendment, the first-time offenders will not mandatorily face jail term if they pay a fine of 50,000 rupees. Gujarat Bombay State had prohibition between 1948 and 1950, and again from 1958. Gujarat has a sumptuary law in force that proscribes the manufacture, storage, sale and consumption of alcoholic beverages. The legislation has been in force since 1 May 1960 when Bombay State was bifurcated into the states of Maharashtra and Gujarat. The Bombay Prohibition Act, 1949 is still in force in Gujarat state, however there is licensing regime in Maharashtra with granting licenses to vendors and traders. Gujarat is the only Indian state with a death penalty for the manufacture and sale of homemade liquor that results in fatalities. The legislation is titled the Bombay Prohibition, Gujarat Amendment Bill, 2009. The legislation was prompted by numerous deaths resulting from the consumption of methyl alcohol. Predictably, smuggling and illicit sale of alcohol are very common. Folder is a slang term of unknown origin, used in Gujarat to refer to a bootlegger who delivers alcohol on demand. <laughs> Permits Foreigners and NRIs are able to purchase 30 day liquor permits. Link down. Topic Lakshadweep. Lakshadweep is the only union territory that bans the sale and consumption of alcohol. Consumption is permitted only on the island of Bangaram. Bangaram is an uninhabited island, but the Bangaram Island Resort has a bar. Topic Nagaland. The Nagaland Liquor Total Prohibition Act NLTP banned the sale and consumption of alcohol in 1989. 
Enforcement of the ban is lax and Indian made foreign liquor is readily available. Authorities generally turn a blind eye towards illegal sales. Reports have stated that some police officials themselves engage in bootlegging. The Congress party has termed prohibition a total failure and has pleaded for it to be revoked. The excise department had earned around 600 lakh rupees, equivalent to 42 crore rupees or 5.8 million dollars in 2017 prior to prohibition. It earned about 10 lakh rupees annually in NLTP Act related fines as of June 2014. The Morung Express estimated that were about 500 illegal liquor bars in Damapur, the largest city in the state, as of August 2014. Alcohol is also smuggled in from neighboring Assam. <laughs> Dry days Dry days are specific days when the sale of alcohol is prohibited. Dry days are fixed by the respective state government. Most Indian states observe dry days on major religious festivals, occasions depending on the popularity of the festival in that region. National holidays such as Republic Day the 26th of January, Independence Day the 15th of August and Gandhi Janti the 2nd of October are usually dry days throughout India. Dry days also depend on the establishment selling alcohol. For example, generally five-star hotels do not have to observe all the dry days that liquor stores and small bars may have to. Dry days are also observed on and around voting days. National dry days also occur during Election Commission of India ordained voting and result days. <laughs> States no longer practicing prohibition Andhra Pradesh, Haryana, Kerala, Manipur, Mizoram and Tamil Nadu have previously enforced, but later repealed prohibition. Andhra Pradesh Total prohibition was introduced in Madras state which included coastal Andhra and Rayalaseema when C. Rajagopalachari became chief minister in 1952. Again ban was introduced by N. T. Rama Rao in 1994. N. Chandrababu Naidu repealed prohibition in 1997, claiming that it was "...not successful or feasible because of the leakages within the state and from across the borders." <laughs> Haryana Bansi Lal led Vikas Party lift the prohibition on April 1, 1998. The total prohibition was in force in the state from July 1996. <inaudible> <inaudible> Kerala Kerala currently allows alcohol to be served in most hotels, bars and airports. A ban imposed by the United Democratic Front government in 2014 was reversed by the opposition left government in 2017 when they came to power citing heavy losses in state revenue and sharp decrease in tourism industry. On the 24th of August 2014, the Chief Minister Uman Chandi announced after a long persuasion from KPCC President V M Sadiran that state will implement prohibition in a phased manner. The decision was supported by the Indian Union Muslim League and the Kerala Congress. Liquor bars in Kerala had to renew licenses every year. The state government did not license any bar on the 31st of March 2014, resulting in the closure of 418 bars. The state government also declared its intention of not renewing licenses of the remaining 313 bars in the state next year. The state-owned Kerala State Beverages Corporation has 338 shops, and Bevco will shut down 10% of them every year. ConsumerFed, which has 46 shops, will also be closed. However, sale of alcohol will continue to be permitted in five-star hotels, and there were 14 five-star hotels in the state as of August 2014. Toddy will also continue to be legally sold, and Toddy shops will be permitted to operate as earlier. In 2016 new Chief Minister of Kerala said their studies show total ban is not applicable but they will enforce on regulating alcohol consumption. The proposed plan is to regulate alcohol consumption using Aadhaar cards to a maximum of 14 units per week, as studies show it decreases rising cancer risk and liver disease. This is an agenda of Government of Kerala to promote healthy living. 
The Left Democratic Front Kerala came to power in 2016 after defeating the previous prohibitionist state government. The state incurred heavy losses due to its mainly tourism based economy being severely affected due to prohibition. Subsequently, they decided to ease the prohibition of previous government. In June 2017, the ban was revoked, allowing three stars hotels and above to openly serve alcohol to its customers. The restrictions on bars were also eased with bars being allowed to remain open till 2300 instead of previous 2200 with new bars being allowed to apply for license. Airport lounges were also allowed to start serving alcohol again. Topic: <laughs> Manipur Prohibition is enforced in the Imphal East, Imphal West, Thubal and Bishnupur districts of Manipur. Prohibition was enforced statewide by the RK. Ranbir Singh government with effect from 1 April 1991. Local brews called Ashaba and Atangba are available in most areas, and authorities usually ignore their sale and consumption. In 2002, the Okram Ibabi Singh government lifted prohibition in the five hill districts of Manipur. The State Legislative Assembly passed the Manipur Liquor Prohibition Amendment Bill, 2002 on 31 July 2002 lifting prohibition in the districts of Chandal, Churashandpur, Senapati, Tamunglong and Ukrul. In 2015, Chief Minister Okram Ibabi Singh stated in the Manipur State Assembly that the state government was looking at the option of lifting prohibition in the state, but liquor ban still continues in the state. Mizoram The Mizoram Liquor Total Prohibition Act, 1995 banned sale and consumption of alcohol effective from 20 February 1997. In 2007, the MLTP Act was amended to allow wine to be made from guavas and grapes, but with restrictions on the alcohol content and the volume possessed. It is illegal to transport these products out of the state. Mizoram repealed prohibition on the 10th of July 2014, a period of 17 years after it had been imposed. On that date, the state legislative assembly passed the Mizoram Liquor Prohibition and Control Bill 2014 or MLPC, replacing the MLTP Act. The Presbyterian Church had organized mass prayers in all member churches across the state twice that year opposing the repeal of prohibition. Excise and Narcotics Minister R. Lalzerliana who introduced the MLPC bill explained, "...as the prohibition only increased the sale of spurious liquor, we strongly felt the need to lift the prohibition so that those people who cannot do without drinks can find good quality liquor at cheaper prices." Lalzerliana, who also belongs to Presbyterian Church, had also participated in a mass prayer at his local church. The minister stated, I asked God to prevent me from introducing the bill in the assembly if that is what he really wanted." The repealing legislation came into force from 15 January 2015, and the first wine shop under the new law was opened on 16 March 2015. See also Alcohol Laws of India Bihar Excise Amendment Act 2016 Bombay Prohibition Gujarat Amendment 2009 The Lakshadweep Prohibition Regulation 1979 The Nagaland Liquor Total Prohibition Act 1989